so today we will see the basic linux command for this you need to have a linux operating system installed in your system so it can be either ubuntu it can be fedora it can be OpenSUSE. so i have installed ubuntu and i will be showing the basic commands in ubuntu so for this you need to type in control alt t together so it will open the terminal which will look something like this now let us look at some of the basic commands let us start with pwd which means present working directory so it shows that i am now inside home i am now inside pranab so when the user logs in the system he will be inside the directory in this case my name so it will be the default directory when you type in pwd after opening the terminal now let us look at the files that are inside this directory pranab so we see that the files are desktop download music public templates and so on you can check the same thing by going to the file system in the graphical user interface now if I want to get a more detailed view, so I have to type ls hyphen l and I see a detail view. Here, these are the file permission. We'll see how to set file permission or how to check file permission for a particular file and directory. And these are the user size date of creation now suppose you are interested in a particular file so in this example we don't have any file so let us create a file so i can use the command touch to create a file touch name of the file is suppose test so now let us type in ls and see whether it is created or not so you can see there is a file called test so now let us rename the file to rename the file the command is mv to rename i am renaming test to test.txt so there must be space between mv space name of the file and the name of the destination file so test will be changed to test.txt so let us run run it now let us look at whether the file name is changed or not so yes if you can see earlier it was test now it is test.txt now we can clear the screen by typing the clear command now if you want to see are there any hidden files in the directory so i can type in ls hyphen a and if you see there are certain hidden files so if i simply type ls only this thing is displayed now if you compare with hyphen a it is showing the hidden files dot double dot and many files beginning with dot so these are the hidden files now what is the single dot single dot represents the present directory or the current directory and double dot represents parent directory so i if i want to go to the present parent directory so let us see pwd so my parent directory is home so then i have to type in cd change directory dot dot it will move to the parent directory so now it has moved so let us see what is the parent directory so if you can see home so you can again come back inside pranab by typing in cd p r a n a b It has changed so you can test it pwd so now you are in set pranam so we have seen three commands pwd we have seen ls with options ls hyphen l ls hyphen a we have seen the command cd so these are the three commands we have seen now let us look at more commands so for that i need to clear the screen now let us look at mkdir 
which is used to create a directory mkdir so i want to make a directory name with the name sample now if i check ls if you will if you can see there is a directory with the name sample if you want to go inside sample and create a new file what you can do you can go inside sample by cd sample you can give this slash or you can avoid this also so it will take you inside sample so you can type in pw do to d to check that you are inside home pranab and the sample directory now you can create some files so i have shown already how to create empty files you can type in touch a a b c d e so five files name a b c d e will be created these are will be empty files so let us run and let us see are they created or not so if you can see there are five files with the names a b c d and e they are created and if i want to see the detail view ls hyphen l so you can see all the files are created and the size of the file is zero this zero indicates the files are empty you can also create a file like you do using vi editor vi test dot c so this we also you can create so i have already created the file so you can see test dot c like the c style now suppose i want to remove the file so to remove the file the simple command is rm test dot c so let us see whether it is deleted or not so if you can see initially it was there now it is deleted rm so rm command is to remove the file now what if i want to delete the directory sample now i am inside sample so i cannot delete the directory from inside i am inside sample so i cannot delete sample so i have to go outside sample so let us go outside sample so how we will go go to the parent directory cd dot dot so now you can see you are outside pranab and now you can delete the directory which directory you can delete the directory sample so let us de delete the directory so let us clear the screen okay so to delete the directory we have rm dir the name of the directory is sample now if you see it is saying that you cannot delete the directory because the directory is not empty now there is another command rm minus or hyphen r name of the directory and see it has delete the directory so r is for recursive way so you can check you will see the directory sample is now not there so let us create the directory again mkdir suppose this is sample 2 ls it is there and you can delete the directory rm hyphen r then name of the directory and then you can see it is being deleted next we will see the man command so at any point of time you are not sure about the command what you can do you can use the manual you can check the manual type in the command rmdir so you will see it shows that remove empty directory so you have to type man name of the the command and then press enter and if you uh, scroll down you will see the options available that can be used along with the command so to come out of the manual you can type q suppose i want to check for ls man ls and you can see ls list directory content so that is that information available and there are several options are there that can be used with the ls command you can try this out again to come out press q 
fine so next we go to the cat command so suppose I want to see the content of a file so for this I need to create the file so let me create the file by using gedit gedit suppose the name of the file is test 2.txt and let me type in here some of the statement now the file I have created and I want to test what is there in the file so you have to type in scat test 2.txt and you can see press enter you can see the content of the file now if the file is really long you may want to see only a section of the file so you can type in head that is from the top you want to see only two lines for the file test 2.txt so you can see only two lines are displayed for this option head the similar way if you want to see from the bottom so you can type in tail so you can see last two lines are displayed similarly there is one more command called grep g r e p which is used to search a word in the file so suppose i want to search for a particular word for example the word is good g w o d good in the file test 2.txt so grep command will see whether this particular word good is available in this file or not so you can see yes it is available it is showing so there are several options that can be used with the grep try a if you can see a is there in ram as well as bad if i want to count how many occurrence of this letter a is there so it will show two so more about grep we will see grep is a very strong command used for searching and we'll see how it can be used with regular expression you might have studied in theory of computation the concept of regular expression so we'll see how to use grep command for regular expression so we'll see a uh, few more commands in the next session